there everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in to Mama Loves Cloth. I am Marina. If you're just checking out this channel for the first time, thank you so much. I hope you will find some useful and beneficial information on cloth diapering. Today we are going to talk about the question that I get most often when I tell people that I cloth diaper and that is what do you do with the poo? When we were first thinking about doing cloth diapering, that was my biggest question as well, is how do you actually clean these? What do you do after you change your baby's diaper and it's dirty and stinky? Most of the time when you use a disposable, from my experience, you just roll it up, throw it in the trash, and it's done with. Well, with cloth diapering, it's not that way. So in today's video, we're gonna talk all about it and let's just dive right in. There's actually three stages that your baby is gonna go through from the time that they are born until they are potty trained and how their poo actually changes and what you're gonna to need to do when it comes to cloth diapering. Stage number one that we're gonna talk about is the newborn stage. And this is actually the easiest stage for cloth diapering, you guys. If you were an exclusively breastfeeding mama, which means you're not feeding your baby any sort of formula or anything other than breast milk, you're actually able to take that dirty soy diaper and put it straight into your diaper pail until wash day. The reason for this is breastfed babies poo is actually water soluble so it is able to just get right out into the washing machine. You don't have to do any sort of spraying off or anything like that. So what it looks like to cloth diaper your newborn is very, very similar to a disposable. Rather than throwing your disposable and rolling it up with the wipe and putting it into the garbage and taking it out and throwing it into the trash, you're just going to take your diaper and put it into your diaper pail. Every two days or every three days, you wanna make sure that you're doing a wash routine on your diapers. You don't wanna go much longer than that, but you're just gonna do a load of laundry of diapers every couple days. So this stage is actually the easiest. Now, if you are formula feeding your baby, you're gonna to wanna to follow step number two. Stage number two that we're gonna talk about is the in-between stage. This is the stage where your baby has just started solids. Most of the time it's around six months, seven months when you start feeding your baby solid food or your formula feeding. And this is when their poos kind of start to change. It becomes a little bit more like sticky and tacky and just a little bit harder to clean off. And this is the stage that you're actually going to have to take one more step in your cloth diapering journey. After your baby has gone to the bathroom, you will want to take that diaper and spray it off. Some people will just use like a Duncan Swish method in their toilet with the diaper. They'll just kind of like swish it around and wipe it. I was not about that at all. I decided to go the diaper sprayer route, and this is actually an amazing little contraption that hooks onto your toilet. You hook it on and it uses the water from the toilet itself, and then you're able to take it off, spray off your diaper, and then throw it from there into the diaper pail until wash day. I personally right now am exclusively breastfeeding our baby. I have not started her on solids yet. So I did want to mention that if you are in the newborn stage and you're kind of grossed out of the fact of just throwing it into the diaper pail and into the washing machine from there and not using any sort of spray out method, you can do this with your newborns. That's actually what I personally do. I haven't started her on solids yet, so I could very easily just put it straight into the pail. But for me, I like to actually take that extra step and still spray it out. Not that much more work and so that's what I actually do. But going back to step number two, you are definitely going to want to spray out your diapers if you're in this stage. If you're formula feeding or you have your babies on some sort of solids, you're gonna wanna spray off as much of that sticky poo from the diaper as possible. The diaper sprayer makes this so easy to do, you guys. It is a game changer when it comes to cloth diapering. I was actually given a diaper sprayer, so I don't have a link to the exact one that we have, but I will post a link in the description box below to one that is very similar to what we use. They don't cost very much money and it is definitely an investment that will set you up for a cloth diapering success for sure. Another little contraption that we use in our bathroom is what's called a Simply Imagine. I ordered this on Amazon and it basically just looks like a plastic garbage can with a hole cut in the bottom and clips on the top and you're able to clip the diaper into it, put it on top of the toilet, spray it off so you're not touching any of it. I fold the diaper up so the outside part is what I touching and I just kind of roll it up and wring it out, throw it into the wet pail and we're good to go. 
So I currently, like I said, follow step number two for our washing out the dirty diapers. I choose to still spray mine, but I don't necessarily have to. That's gonna be totally up to you guys on if you guys choose to do that or not. But if you are having your babies on solids, you want to make sure you get as much sprayed out as possible. Stage number three that we're gonna talk about is what we call a flickable poo stage. This is as your baby starts getting a little bit older onto potty training and beyond. And this is where you can just kind of take your diaper and flick the poo into the toilet. You still can use your diaper sprayer to spray it out, of course. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that it is still clean, but this is also a very easy stage, just like stage number one. So the newborn stage is easy. Stage number three is easy. Stage number two is a little bit harder. But overall, you guys, it is not that bad at all. The contraptions that we use with the diaper sprayer, the Simply Imagine, or a Spray Pal. Spray Pal also makes the same sort of thing that the Simply Imagine does where you hook your diapers on and then you're able to spray it out and it helps with like splatter. Nothing splatters anywhere. You don't really have to touch much or anything like that. So I will post links to those below. But overall, handling the poo with cloth diapers is not that bad whatsoever. I hope you guys found some useful information in this video and helped answer the question of the dreaded poo and what do you do with it when you're cloth diapering and it's really not that bad. So I just encourage each and every one of you guys to make the switch to cloth. There's nothing like cloth. Mm -hmm.